Hello, in this video we're going to look at the consumer's budget line and do some graphical problems. So here's our consumer's budget line. Consumer purchases units of good Y and units of good X. And the first question is what is the price ratio of good X to good Y? So the price ratio is just going to be the price of good X divided by the price of good Y. And if we calculate the slope of the budget line, rise over run, 18 over 9, it's downward sloping, so the minus sign, we get a slope of minus 2. And the key point here is that the price ratio will equal the absolute value of the slope of the budget line. In this case, the price ratio will equal 2. The next question is, what is the consumer's marginal rate of substitution at her utility maximizing point? Well, at her utility maximizing point, her indifference curve will just be tangent to this budget line, implying that the marginal rate of substitution will equal to the ratio of the prices. Next problem, the consumer has $108 of income. What is the price of good X and price of good Y? The price of good X can be calculated as the income divided by the horizontal intercept. The horizontal intercept here is where the budget line touches the x-axis, or at 9 units. So 108 divided by 9 means that the price of good X is $12. And the price of good Y, likewise, can be calculated as the consumer's income divided by the vertical intercept. In this case, the vertical intercept is 18. So 108 divided by 18 gives us a price of good Y of $6. You'll also note if we take 6 and multiply it by 18, we back into our $108 of income. What is the equation for the budget constraint? So income equals the price of good X times units of good X plus the price of good Y times units of good Y. We know the income is 108. We solve for the price of good X at 12 and the price of good Y at 6. So that is the equation of the budget constraint. Next problem. Suppose the price of good X is $10. What is the consumer's income and price of good Y? So the income can be calculated as the price of good X, which is $10 in this example, multiplied by the horizontal intercept, or $90. You'll notice here if we take $90 and divide it by 10, that's the number of units that this consumer can afford of good X. And the price of good Y then is just going to be the income which is $90 divided by the vertical intercept. So in this case, the price of good Y is $5. And you'll also note if we take that $5 and multiply it by 18, that backs us into the consumer's income of $90. And another problem. Here we have a budget line, and then the budget line increases. The consumer's income associated with the lower budget line is $60. What is the consumer's income for the higher budget line? So the consumer can afford to purchase 50% more of good X or good Y if spending all income on good X or good Y. So in other words, the horizontal intercept increased by 50%. So going from 6 to 9 is a 50% increase. And likewise, going from 12 to 18, that's also going to be a 50% increase. So therefore, income increased by 50% to $90. So 1.5 times 60 equals our $90. And our last problem here, could this consumer purchase 4.25 units of good X and 3.25 units of good Y? So what we can do here is calculate the equation for this line. And so just in general form, Y equals A plus BX. In this case, A is 20, the vertical intercept. B is going to be the slope. 20 divided by 5, rise over run, it's downward sloping, so minus 4. Plugging everything into our equation then. Now evaluating this equation at 4.25 units of good X, Y will have to equal 3. Therefore, the consumer can afford 4.25 units of good X and only 3 units of good Y. The point 4.25 and 3.25 is outside the budget line and thus unaffordable to the consumer. All right, that's it.